morning guys, what's going on? This is Marcel Flores from One Dapper Street. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to yet another vlog in yet another European city. This time we're in Paris. As you probably saw in the intro a little bit already. Anyway, I uh, want to show you our little Airbnb where we are right now. It's cute. But uh, <laughs> woke up late, arrived yesterday. Woke up late, have a show in 40 minutes. It takes 40 minutes to get there because we're kind of like out to the west. So we gotta go right now. One of my absolute favorite designers, Ami, Alexandre Mathieu. I keep forgetting what the I stands for. <laughs> Beautiful stuff though. So it's gonna be a little bit different here in Paris because I'm not getting dressed by the designers. Let's just take a look at what the show looks like. Just going to the show without no outfit. Enjoy. I mean, honestly, it's like obviously one of my favorite brands because look at that show. It was beautiful. Everything was so super wearable, like cool silhouettes. Like it basically looked like me most of the time walking around anyway. And beautiful camel coats, like that one look that was all camel was absolutely beautiful. What else is one of my favorites? Uh, I can't remember. I'll have to look at the footage and then I'll just flash it now. And this one was also great. But I'll, I'll show you guys. So now off to the Isamiyaki show. Come guys. And that was Isemiyaki. Isemiyaki is a Japanese designer, so a lot of the styling was a little bit out there and not entirely me, but you kind of have to develop um, an eye to really break the looks apart as they walk down the runway. And like, if you don't like something about it, take it away. Same thing, honestly, what I, what I would in, encourage you guys to do with my looks, like, don't start like, oh, I don't like the look because I don't like that. If you like something, take that and work with it. And there was some really, really great pieces in the show. Right now, we're in the car with my homie Nicolas. Comment ça va? Ça va très bien, toi. Très bien. Uh, he, he was in my vlogs before. Mm, I think so. Yeah. He's kind of he's ago. kind of a cool guy. I don't know. Kind of. He has a whole car. He's like a driver here. He's kind of like partnering with Paris Men's Fashion Week. So it's like uh, perfect, yeah, it's yeah. very important. So important. Okay, I'm um, taking it along to uh, Maison Kitsune. Uh, I have an appointment there, and I'm gonna grab some lunch. Oh yeah. You should, yeah. Fucking lunch. He better take me to a good spot. Food. So food. some fashion and then some food. Straight fire, and that's, and that's the coffee. 25 minutes later, I finished eating like 15 minutes ago, but these guys are crazy slow. Nicolas just left. He's gonna pick up his Breitling watch right now, and I'm beyond jealous. <laughs> I shipped some stuff back from Milan that I didn't show you in the vlog, I think. So I really need some clothes, because I thought I was gonna get dressed here by the, by the uh, brands, but it's not happening. So I'm gonna go to Cost and go shopping, hopefully find something for tomorrow, because I'm going tomorrow to Margiela, which I'm so beyond excited. <sighs> Shop it. Shopping successful, which means time for an outfit change. Yay. These are the smallest elevators on this planet. There's two people in here and two bags, and there's no more room. We're at, we're at capacity. It's a very minimal adjustment. Just a couple of things I bought, like some wider pants. And, you know, that's just a sweater, switch out. I forgot two things on my calendar, so I gotta run. <laughs> That 
that was the Sandro presentation. Sandro Paris is one of my, I love Paris, one of my absolute favorite brands. I think what I, what, I just saw like, what, two, three shows and what I see in Paris is everything is so much more wearable. I love the pieces in there, you can break it apart, you can wear it like that and that's something that in a lot of the fashion shows, especially in Milan, I think it's a lot about the styling, about the show aspect and you have to like break it apart yourself. But here it was really, really beautiful, shilling, shilling um, accents on, on trucker jackets and you best believe the corduroy suit is going to come back in all sorts and ways and forms this fall winter because that, that brown, dark brown, not brown, that dark orange one in there, beautiful. Now I'm going to meet up with Matthew, this time on purpose. Okay, ready? Oh, he has already begun. Okay, oh. did you start his coming? <laughs> hmm? Did you start his coming? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. he did. Thank you. I saw that. Okay, so when did we first meet? <laughs> when did we first meet? London? I think we met in London quickly. The first time we sat down was in LA when we went to. Ah, yes, we yes. had a coffee shop yeah, in LA. And, uh, in a on, on, uh, on uh, what's it called? Uh, Abbott Kinney. Yes. Abbott Kinney. Yeah, that was nice. That was the first time we really, really talked. How do you see the Amazing. future? How do I see the future? Of your business, which is my business. <laughs> of our business. I think the industry is going to focus more on the people that put their heart and soul in it and that started it for the right reasons, not because they wanted to go on vacation. You know what I mean? And like make a lot of money having fun. They don't get that it's work and that there's a lot of work going in. Best case scenario, I can see myself turning this into, into you know, like in 10, day, in 10 years it will be daddy bloggers. And we'll show like, how can you stay stylish and push a stroller around the park? Like, <laughs> I think that's my scenario, right? Like, kids wear. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> kids wear. I love this. I love what we're doing. It's fun, you know, like live live an inspirational life, like inspire others and, and, and be, be a positive human being that, mm -hmm. that cares about how he looks and what, what he does and where he goes. I think, it's, I think it's nice. What's my DNA and what's your DNA? Um, What's I definitely, I, de I definitely would say you're a lot more, a lot more um, luxury and a lot okay. more editorial in what you do. I think for me, it's a little bit more of an approach to the everyday kind of guy, and how the everyday kind of guy can access luxury if he wants to. So for me, it's a lot about the high-low mix because when I grew up, I was reading GQ style and everything. I was like, oh my god, these ads are amazing. It'd be head to toe Dolce Gabbana. So for me, it was always about how can I get that look within my means and to make it work for myself. And you obviously, it's. I told you this over, over dinner a couple of days ago, like a couple, well, it's been a whole week that we've been hanging out, I don't know how many nights ago, but I told you this at dinner, I, I look up to your work because, because it's so unique in what you do, like it's unique in the field. Perfect, thank you Marcel. Thank you. I know you're busy. <laughs> oh. I'm thank sorry you. I had to have you wait. No, don't that's worry. That's terrible. <laughs> Interview is done guys. If you want to see the whole thing, you got to wait for the documentary. This Peace. guy had this guy's shooting, and this is you guys are potentially in this right now because this is <laughs> it's camera inception, yo. <laughs>of the Jill Sander presentation. I'm currently running to the Amistro, the show that you saw this morning. I should get to pick out a sweater and a jacket, so I want to do that and I'm so excited. Jill Sander is... The, the aesthetic was beautiful. Obviously there's some pieces that are very, very out there, like the like basically blanket that you can wear as a jacket. But on the other hand, there was beautiful pieces like the dark brown overcoat or the plaid coat in the end that are just amazing. So Jill Sander is a fantastic designer. I hope you guys enjoyed that. The entire art installation to it was cool too. And now we're shopping and look at what I found. Tell me that's not the coolest coat. Tell me. Tell me. <laughs> Are you looking nice? <laughs> no, they're not gonna talk. Just laughing. Just laughing this time. <laughs> ah, it's so nice with the the four seasons. Yes, he's, sure. Because that's how he's fancy. <laughs> that's how influencers always live. Like it's a room. Okay, the view quick. The view. I was here yesterday, but I didn't show you guys. I'm also acting like I just live here. That's how. Oh my god, it's sparkling right now. Now that's pretty. Oh, we got some really quick hello from the Valentino store. We have a cocktail here. Where's the cocktails, you guys? Um, they're oh. all empty. Empty. We drink no. them all. They have no more no. for us. And now him and I have a cute little dinner date. Yeah.
It's a mandate. First of all, calm down. Third, six. And I add nothing, no second. <laughs> I love when I vlog and then I'm like, um, I'm gonna redo that really quick. <laughs> edit it out. Well, I'm just not gonna be. This is the raw version. Nothing edited out. Everything as is. And the cuts in between are uh, just the stuff that I took out. <laughs> Guys. Follow my Instagram. Go just really quick because this is our last goodbye. I'm not going to see him anymore here in Europe. Get the lights, get the lights. Get the lights, lights. wear the lights. Camera, camera. Lights. action. Oh. I love this guy. See you check check his workout, seriously, it's inspiring. It's great. He wants to be in the vlog. I want to be in the vlog, man. <laughs> I want to be this is vlog. one of the guys that, that's behind the magic of Matthew's stuff. And there's the other two. Oh, yeah, look. Plug. Gentleman vlog. Plug. The gentleman vlogger. Okay, he, he equips his crew. I need to start doing that. That's smart. He's a smart man. Okay, I'm not gonna vlog a whole lot from here because it's like really intimate and nice. But Semi's yeah, here and he has. We're having a bromance dinner. A bromance dinner. He has me as his guest. It's wonderful. The first. The first. Co wow. The first course is served already. <laughs> we got some fish right here, some crudo. And it's gonna. I've, I've eaten here before with Mary about a year ago and it's absolutely amazing. I'm excited for him to try everything, and I'm excited to eat it again. <laughs> this is all I'm gonna say from the dinner table. Didn't manage to say goodbye to you last night anymore because dinner went on for a while. It was really, really great. I don't know, Sammy and I, we met over the internet. As so many of my friends and I did, and it's something that is so like new that it used to not happen. People were like, oh, stay away from strangers on the internet. And now I'm meeting some of my, my closest friends in the world, all over the world, on the internet. And it was just, a, it was a great night. I want to thank you guys for following along our first day here in Paris. As you can see, this is already the second day. I'm already dressed to head out if you want to see what I'm doing in this outfit today in this rainy weather. Stay tuned for the next vlog. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss on any of the videos that I'm uploading. Very soon it's going to be back to normal. I'm going to go home to New York, back to normal videos, back to a bigger variety, not so much Fashion Week centered. So once again, if you don't want to miss any of that, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys very soon. Stay dapper.